Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. This is Vic DiBattato here. Naturally, I am uh, had to get a car inspection. My daughter's car had to be inspected. It's two months overdue. She couldn't see the big 11, 14 in the lower right. But that, that's all right. I said, go back to sleep. I'll, I'll get the car inspected. So naturally, I got here too early. Story of my life. It's 7.45. They don't open until 8 in the morning. But the woman just came out and she says, go pull up to the to the box over there and don't press the button till it's exactly eight o'clock. So I'm sitting here like an idiot. I can't wait to press. Doesn't look like I'm pressing the button now. Look at that, isn't that cute? Anyway, it's a whole big to-do in Jersey. You know, New York, here, give me $20. There's your stick, I get the fuck out of here. Bring it back tomorrow. I got a guy who turned back the odometer for you for $2. Anyway, so I'm sitting there listening to the news and everybody's doing their uh, their reports about the Golden Globe Awards, which I watched last night because there was nothing else to watch. I'm not a big fan of the Golden Globe Awards, but I got to admit, Michael Keaton's speech was phenomenal. It's good to see a nice down-to-earth guy from, from Pennsylvania, you know, with all those Hollywood people. It was nice to see nice. It was nice. It was refreshing. It was down-to-earth. He thanked his family, his son. But... Uh, Enough about me. I'm just uh, working clear zero, sitting in a car, 7:43 in the morning, waiting to press a button. They should. Michael Keaton should do a movie about. That. He was great in Birdman, but I didn't. I didn't care for the movie. I mean, 20 minutes in, into Birdman, I wanted to smack that drummer in the background. But uh, maybe they should play a drum roll for me as I wait to press the button.